Kia ora koutou and welcome to Concordia in about three minutes. There is no solo mode. It's a game for two to five players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. You are the owner of a Roman trading house, hoping to extend your reach across the empire. You will make contracts with powerful personalities, build markets and production facilities from Egypt to Britannia, and trade goods all over the empire. But ultimately, it is not wealth that will determine whose trading empire is the greatest. It will be your devotion and sacrifice to the various Roman gods. The game ends when one player has built their 15th house, or a player has purchased the last two personality cards. The winner is the player with the most points. Victory points. There are six different ways to score points. Card management. You play a card each turn to take actions, and they also impact on how you score at the end of the game. Network building. Concordia is all about building networks. Player turn. Each player starts with two colonists at Rome. They also have a storehouse that contains four colonists, two food, and one of each other type of resource. You start the game with a hand of seven cards. Each turn you will play one card and take the action on it. The Tribune card allows you to take played cards back into your hand. The Architect allows you to move your colonists a number of spaces equal to the number of colonists you control. We have two, so that is two spaces. We can move the land and sea colonists one space each, or the sea colonists two spaces. Only one colonist may be on any path. You may then build houses at any city your colonists are adjacent to. This costs the amount shown on this reference card. To build a house where someone already has one costs more money. The Prefect allows you to select a region to produce. Each player gets resources based on what tile their houses are on. The selecting player gains the region's bonus as well. In this case, green gets extra tools. Alternatively, you can gain coins by flipping all the markers back over to their ready side. The colonist card allows you to spend one food and tools to place new colonists in your cities. The Mercator lets you collect money and then buy and sell up to two types of goods. Goods values are shown on the storehouse. We sell three cloth for 21 coins to buy four wine for 24 coins. The Diplomat lets you play the top card of any player's discard pile. For most of the game, there are seven cards to buy on the board. You can use the Senator card to buy up to two of these, paying the cost on the card as well as the additional costs shown on the board. The console card allows you to buy one card, but you ignore the additional cost shown on the board. Finally, there are specialist cards which produce goods at houses of the same type. Keep playing until houses or cards run out. Why would you like this game? Concordia is a game with simple rules and engaging gameplay, with a complex and detailed scoring system that requires a lot of planning and thinking. Because the six scoring events are modified by how many cards you have of that event, knowing what cards to purchase and what they are worth at the end of the game is huge. But you also have to make use of them throughout the game. This means you have to plan out where you are going and what regions you want to spread to. It's definitely a game for people who like to start a game with a plan and see how well they can execute it. The best thing about this game is the prefix system. I love how it rewards you for producing in regions other people are in. It's just simple and elegant. However, the scoring system in Concordia is not immediately intuitive. It also takes a while to score the game once it ends. This can lead to a weird feeling where the end of the game is the least enjoyable part. One would assume a game about trading would focus on the accumulation of money. In Concordia, that is simply not the case, and it trips up new players. For another game about network building, try Power Grid. Or alternatively, Brass Birmingham. Concordia, the best trading in the Mediterranean game. Gold medal. If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, and come support us on Patreon.